Yeah, in Acts 19, the beginning of it, from verse 20, I mean, verse 1 to 20, um, Paul was still going out and sharing the gospel to all over the world. Well, all over the area. They didn't have planes to go everywhere. But he was trying to go as much, as many places as he could. And this story takes place in Ephesus. And he went to Ephesus and he started talking to people. People started coming and hearing what he was saying. And he started sharing about Jesus and what he's done for them. And they were really eager to hear and the Holy Spirit gave him powers to heal, right? There's a man that was blind, another man that that couldn't walk, and a man that was laying in his mat. Oh, and here's a woman and she brought her son to be healed. And they're all hearing what Paul is sharing. And actually, what's really wild and crazy is that the Holy Spirit gave Paul the ability to anything he touched, like a handkerchief or an apron, or anything like that, if he touched that and they took that to the loved one that they had, maybe that couldn't come to him, like they were so sick, it was in the house, and they could take that cloth or that handkerchief and they could take it and give it to their loved one and their loved one would touch it, God would heal them. Amazing, wow. Now, was that power from Paul? No, that power was from God. And why is God giving Paul that power? Because Paul loves the Lord and is sharing the gospel, sharing about Jesus. He's doing the Lord's work. Oh, that's such a wonderful thing. So many people were believing. And it's really cool because um, he kept on sharing and kept on teaching others about Jesus. And they were learning and loving him. Now, there was some, oops, some, uh, there was a priest that actually was worshiping other gods. And he was teaching people how to worship those other gods. Well, he had seven brothers. I mean, seven sons, I mean. Seven sons. And you know what? They wanted to have that power that Paul had. And so they were seeking to heal people just like Paul. And one day, he came. they came across to a person that actually had... Um, evil an evil God inside of him and they came up to him and they said by the power of Jesus and who Paul Paul talks about we want this evil spirit to come out well this evil spirit looked at them and he said I know Jesus and I know Paul, but who are you? Oh my goodness. This evil spirit knew the truth about them. And what he did was he attacked them and he beat them up and they went running away. They were really badly hurt. And, and the news went around to the area and all the people realized, oh, we can't say that we love God and love Jesus, but still worship our other gods. 
We really need to trust in God. We really need to do what's right. And things have changed. And they started realizing, wow, we have all these books that are teaching us about all these evil magic things that actually Satan is telling us to do and are about these these idols, these other gods, not about Jesus, not about God. What should we do about them? Well, the people realized they needed to get rid of them and not just give them to goodwill because then that means somebody else will read those horrible books and will be taught the wrong thing. They realized that that only God needed to be what people learned about and what Jesus did for them. So you know what they did? So they went and they they went and they got all of their books and their scrolls and a man started making putting wood together 
and they made a fire. They made a fire and they started throwing all of their books and their scrolls in the fire. Oh, what do you think? Do you think that was amazing? Yes. That means they're showing God that they really do want to change. They don't want to worship and do those things for the other gods. They realize now that God is the God of the whole world and God created them and he sent Jesus to for him, for them, for them. They have done so many bad things because they were sharing the wrong stuff to everybody else about these other gods. These other gods don't have powers like our God does. And so when Paul found out about this, oh, he was so excited. He knows that they are repenting. That's the word that means changing their ways. They're repenting and they're turning to God. Oh, so awesome. So they were throwing it all in the fire. Do you think that they were excited? They were, they were changing. They were like, we're not gonna worship the those other gods that are just stone and not worth anything. We're gonna worship the God, the God of our world, the God of our lives. The God that loves us and wants us to follow him. Now, children, I am thinking of a song that I learned when I was really little. And it says, Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. For the Father up above is looking down with love. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. These people were reading books that weren't the right thing. They were filling their minds up what was with what was wrong. Do you guys look at things that could possibly be something that God doesn't want you to look at? Hmm. Maybe it's books that you're reading that aren't filling you up with the right stuff that what the Bible teaches you. Or it could be something that you're watching on TV. Maybe it's something that isn't really what, what the Bible teaches. Maybe you need to be careful what you're, what you're looking at and what you're filling your mind up with. Or maybe it's on YouTube or something else that you might be filling your mind up with. Be careful, because when you fill your mind up with that, you start believing that and not believing what God has in the Bible. We need to read our Bible. We need to study it. We need to learn from it, just like these people were in Acts 19. So let's pray. Put one hand up, put the other hand up, put it together. Dear Lord, thank you for this story. I thank you that we learned from Paul to tell others about you. And also uh, from these people from Ephesus that they learned that they shouldn't be filling their mind up with things that aren't true. They should be filling their minds up with your, your word, your Bible, and what you want to teach. Help us to do the same. Help us to follow you and not fill our minds up with things that we should not be filling our minds up with. Help us to turn off the TV when there's things that are wrong or turn off the YouTube channel when we see things that aren't right. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I love you all.